Hey everyone, welcome to Ross Plays Bastion. I've decided to do this game as a full on series instead of doing a double take on it. Because I did do a double take on it and then edited it, went through, looked at the video. Pile of crap. Because the narrator talks 24 7. So I thought, you know what, instead of me talking all the time, you get to listen to him and I get to say nothing and I get to play the game, put my fucking 2p in every whenever I want. Yeah, perfect. If Nintendo got a hold of me, they'd fucking shut me up for this, but they can't, because it's not a Nintendo game. Guess who's published by? Warner Brothers. I was going to say this game's an indie game, but when you put indie game next to Warner Brothers, you're going to ask me how much money were they paid to do it, so, yeah. It's probably an indie studio published by fucking Warner Brothers. So, let's not get into that one. Let's get into the game, shall we? Right, I would show you the helping options, but it's going to crash the game and then Fraps is going to crash and then you're not going to see much of this video so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to show you what's in them so you got controls, you know I'm using the Xbox 360 controller at the moment it, it's for ease basically, it's for my ears so you can't hear my mouse click and keyboard tap I can just, you know put my hands together and pray with the controller um, how to play, settings, display, resolution as, as easy as that really right, let's get into it I've heard this game's really good, so I wanted to play it for a series rather than... Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Right, I'm in bed, in a house that's been broken down. He gets somehow. up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. A oh, bastion. Oh. Ground Suppose forms up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. See, I can't get a fucking word in with this guy, seriously. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. His well, lifelong it's a friend is a hammer. Reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. So I'm liking the way the levels are generated, like above, like being literally thrown at me. Here, fucking walk on this, son. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Oh, great. First enemy. So the controls at the moment are pretty fluid, to be honest. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. I wonder if he says that if I didn't get hit. Or was it scripted that I get hit? I don't know, I'm gonna have to find that out. I don't know what I'm just drawing it. For a while. See I don't know when to talk and when to not to, because he Is An he gonna talk now? Peter falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods. But it'll have to do. Oh, a gun. Got a holder still. Pow, 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 the chamber. And then he oh. falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now. So that fountain looks real inviting. Oh yeah. Sometimes you just need a drink. Thank God for that. So water fountains here, yeah. Levels the being thrown. Squirts at you. tunnels Ooh. up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. So I don't really know what's going on, but I'm sure he'll explain to me what's going on. I'm liking this level design, it's really, it's really nice. The game's really colourful. It's got like a cartoony... I wouldn't say anime look, but it does look very digital, digitally painted. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. Alright, there's an area I missed, I think. Oh no. It's just part of the scene. Right. 
it's dull. Saloon. Let's get a drink, shall we? He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. I suppose if you're an alcoholic, you really want to drink. Rondi oh. always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Ah, oh, fair enough. So I was supposed to shoot him. How do I use shield? LT. The security takes him for a penny. Hey, look at me, I'm Havel. Oh, wow. If you can see on the enemy, this uh, health bar is under him. It's the circle. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's really cool. Special delivery. Gas, fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. Ah, run away. Run away. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh. Don't want to mess with me, boys. Fuck your world up. Just trying to get some loots. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah. I thought more squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front uh -oh. of the kid. Run away, run away. Oh my god, so many enemies. So I'm playing Hammer Watch again. That's it. Fucking take my arrow. Oh my god, he takes so much life away from me. Dodge and roll. Whatever Dark Souls taught you, dodge and roll. Out the window. Is he really using that cog as a parachute? He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Ooh. Another weapon. Oh, this is so much better than the bloody... Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. All the way back, like that. That my father used to tell me. I don't know why I told you all the way back, but, you know. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Um... I'm hoping he's talking about guns there, because that's not something to be proud of. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. So, I'm in a sky fortress somewhere. I don't know. What is that on the ground? I don't even know. I'm trying to look at the background, but it's too cloudy. It's like being in Britain all over again. La 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 la. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. Now we have really have had some shit weather just lately. Lucky Americans getting snow. Bloody Aussies are getting heat waves. We're just getting torrential rain and winds. Oh, I'm liking this music. You Proper find dramatic. the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Ooh. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Bloody hell, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Dead rum. Oh, dread rum. Dread rum. Fetching fizz. What does that do? 10% critical hit chance or 
absorb stray fragments. Plus 10 health. Well, I've been doing okay on health. I've been doing okay on that. I'll just go for the fragments. Thank you. Right. Now I need to go to the, the arsenal. Awesome where room. the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Right. Whirlwind or dancing shot. I want dancing shot, thank you very much. I like my bow. My bow is my friend. Burst shot. Requires one black tonic per use. Yep, no thank you. Ba -dum. Some of them squirts give this birth a go, like right? crazy in a couple of corn bins. One long before the kid could loosen their uh -oh. own strong uh -oh. and true. Right, this is the RT. Oh yeah, dancing show, I see. Let's just get rid of this, shall we? Take that, you bloody things. Slugs, worms. Levitating. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Stop it. Oh, didn't see that down there. This looks like an area where I need to be. And that looks like an area where. Loot. Loot should Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. So, I have to get to this bastion place. Take that. I'm so glad I got this bow. It's so powerful. Biddle. Right, take that, you bloody bladders. Yeah. No, stop target on him. Oh, you better watch his step. Fell off again. You have to get used to that. I'm used to games like holding my hand and not let me fall off edges. Whereas this is just like, nope. Go take a skydiver lesson for free. Why don't you? It's on the house. Cool. It was on the house before the house got demolished. But you know, that's someone else's story. This is bastard chunk of alloy. What can I do with a chunk of alloy? Don't know. Pack. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the chunk air. Chunk of alloy. Don't know. Something. Oh, something heavy. Okay. Oh. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Haha, <laughs> scumbags, and they're literally bags. <sighs> Bad time to run out of black tonic. Yeah, sure is. You see what I mean about the narrator now? He just doesn't stop. Which is good for me. But... Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. I don't know why I used the health potion, I really didn't need to. Oh, you come here, you bloody blutter. Let me put a bow in your bow. Kid puts him out of oh, his misery. Yeah. Come here. Destroy all these. Hold into that. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. Oh, missed that one. Can't leave a man behind. What I want to know is where he's storing the arrows. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Oh crap! The kid has a feeling he better get a move on. So the three all over again. Place is starting to fall. If any of you have completed Halo 3, you know what I mean. See, that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running.
I can just like roll through things. Look down here. Oh fuck. Down. Didn't mean to do that. What what 